Hey, hey, crypto family. I'm Nemesis with the Crypto Brothers. This one I uh, just kind of came across, and I kind of like this one. Uh, luxury watchmaker who Hublot unveils a new luxury model available for Bitcoin only. Wow, a watch for Bitcoin. Now, depending on the price and how cool it is, it might be something that I might be interested in, maybe, but it, it's got to be like really cool. Um, I mean, I like this to see new businesses starting to accept uh, Bitcoin. I'd like to know if they're directly accepting Bitcoin or if they're doing it through a subsidiary third party that's ex accepting the Bitcoin forum. And then that place exchanges the Bitcoin for fiat for them. But I mean, to see the adoption like this, this is a good thing. Positive, positive, positive. It's like myself. Um, I am. I have my own business that I'm starting up, and uh, my business is Dreammaker Customs. Uh, so I do classic car restorations, customizations. Uh, you want to have a hot rod to a dragster to just a good classic, reliable old car. That's what I do. And yes, I do accept Bitcoin for payments, and I will accept Bitcoin directly no third party i will be hodling that stuff myself anybody who wants to pay me to work on their their classic cars in bitcoin you drop a little post down below and we'll get in touch <clears throat> uh, but moving on with that uh, this one's from coin telegraph by anna berman swiss luxury watch brand hublot has unveiled its new watch its watch big bang blockchain in an official announcement september 19th the new model has been released to commemorate the upcoming 10th anniversary of bitcoin 10 years of bitcoin Woo, that's good and if you really think about it the internet didn't really start getting massively adopted until like late 90s early 2000s and then the internet really just took off for what we know it is today um, and that was you know over 10 years of the internet so we're hitting that, that magic number are we in for massive adoption or are we still in the way early runs of all of this because there's not enough people trying to get on board uh, like the dot-com boom did back in the day when everybody was buying dot-com this, dot-com your mama, dot-com nothing, dot-com whatever. And, you know, it's like until we start seeing the same thing happening here, um, I think that's, you know, like, you know, we're just a little bit further away from this whole mass adoption in my book. But to see new companies like that, like this company and my company that we're accepting Bitcoin, it's going to take us people to be the innovators in this space to be the first ones to be accepting Bitcoin. But again, I'd like to know if they're accepting it directly. As per Hublot's release, the 210 piece limited edition can only be purchased with Bitcoin. The number of units symbolizes the fact that the number of Bitcoins will never exceed 21 million. Oh, that's kind of cool. 210 21 million i get it that's cool little, little play on numbers to promote and sell the model hublot has partnered with octagon strategy limited osl a major major asian digital asset broker which will help with the process of during the pre-sale so they're using a subsidiary so they're not directly getting Bitcoin. You might be only able to purchase it with Bitcoin. As a, 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 this just looks like more of like a PR stunt for them. As much as I think this is cool, um, I think they're just trying to see if there's any hype left for them to be able to make a watch off of it and boost their sales. It sounds like I'd be more on board with it if they were taking the taking the Bitcoin directly and hodling it. But like so many other companies out there. Um, a lot of the governments and banks will not allow them to directly um, accept Bitcoin. Uh, the reason why I'm able to directly accept Bitcoin 
is I don't get my I don't need a loan from a bank to work on cars. I don't need the bank to do what I do. I can do it on the ground. I can do it off of a set of floor jacks. I do not care. I love working on cars and I do not need the bank to tell me how, when, or where I'm going to be working on cars. So with that, I do not need the banks in my life with my shop. Um, so I can directly accept the Bitcoin because I don't, I don't have a banking limitation on myself. Um, so unfortunately, some of the bigger companies, they kind of all fall into this where they're all kind of um, doing, they're accepting Bitcoin through third party. Um, it, it's a shame. Uh, but they don't accept it directly. But I guess this is the direction that the governments and banks are forcing some of the bigger players to to enter the market. And if this is how we, how we need to get our uh, the recognition out there, I'll take it as a win. <clears throat> to purchase a Big Bang blockchain, a customer has to register on a dedicated website. OSL will then confirm the data and send the payment details via e email. The new Hublot model will be delivered to its buyers in the beginning of 2019. The elite Swiss brand has also paid tribute to the blockchain technology, calling it a revolution in the financial system. Hublot further explained the importance of decentralization. By allowing digital information to be distributed, blockchain technology creates the black backbone of a new type of internet. Well recognized for its original originality, the technology, technology is regarded as one of the most powerful and fast growing trading tools, not to mention unlimited possibilities of usage in the different aspects which will revolutionize various industry norms and trade. So it sounds like somebody's sitting there definitely telling, telling this Swiss brand what's up or they're involved with it already on the backside and their company format with the banks just aren't allowing them to accept bitcoin directly but somebody's in the know that's for sure the swiss brand is not only not the only one to commemorate bitcoming's upcoming anniversary for instance an art gallery in paris has announced an expedition called bitcoin art Revolution, which aims to show the potential of cryptocurrencies. That's cool. I'm going to have to look up that one, too. <clears throat> According to a press release, each item at the event can be purchased both with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Litecoin, Monero, and Ethereum? Really? Monero? A privacy coin they're going to allow. That's cool. Bitcoin originally emerged in 2008. At the height of the global financial crisis, correct. When a white paper uh, authorized by a pseudonymous Satoshi Nakamoto was published, the white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, was released on Bitcoin.org on October 31st, a date that is widely considered as ground zero for Bitcoin. Although the first actual Bitcoin was mined on January 3rd, 2009. Of course, they were making the protocol, pre-mined it, made sure that, the, that their ideas were going to work. Okay. Over the, over the almost 10 years since the mining of the first Bitcoin block, many have proclaimed the cryptocurrency dead more than 300 times overall. As Cointelegraph reported earlier, however, Bitcoin remains the most popular cryptocurrency in the world, with a current market capitalization over $115 billion, according to market, coin market cap. Yep, the Bitcoin is definitely one of those, what, I, what some people uh, that I've heard call it a zomb zombie currency. They call it, they proclaim it dead, and yet it keeps rising from the dead. So, I mean... I, I I dig it. I like the idea that uh, somebody in this company definitely knows a few things in this space. So it shows that at least one or two people in, in that company are definitely involved with uh, at least investing with cryptocurrency or they've done a heavy amount of uh, uh, research on it. 
Um, but I would definitely say that one of them is, you know, is, is def one person is at least heavily involved and is teaching these people in, in this uh, company what's up. And I like that. It's just too bad that they're not taking the Bitcoin directly. But a win's a win whenever it comes down to adoption and of any sort. So with that being said, drop a comment down below. What's your thoughts on this? Um, for me, I like that. Um, and uh, don't forget that if you guys are ever wanting like a, an old classic car hot routed out uh, and turned into a dragster or something like that, drop a comment down below. Let me, let me know. Uh, it's kind of what I do uh, with Dream Maker Customs. Uh, that's that's uh, something that I do on the side. It's not my my day, my normal you know job. I didn't quit working to to do this full time. Nor did I quit my job to start doing Bitcoin full time. But definitely drop a comment down below. Smash that like button. Hit the uh, subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so that whenever I drop these videos, you're notified. And with that, I'll bid you guys next time. And you guys have a good one. Later.